Rajendran. I'm a physician, an Indian classical musician, author, and a TEDx speaker. I play the Saraswati Veena, the national instrument of India. It is a seven-stringed fretted instrument made of wood. I grew up in a family that revered Indian classical music. My grandmother was ailing with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. She was bedridden with uh, severe back pain. And my parents used to play this music from this red massive tape recorder and that used to alleviate my grandmother's pain and stress and anxiety to some extent. Because of this adulation towards music, my parents put me into music classes in the same year my grandmother passed away which was in 1998 and I was just a young child like five years old. After two years I started learning the Saraswati Veena and I started giving public performances at uh, invited national music festivals and once I started my medical school I put these public performances to the back burner and I started focusing on academic uh, music along with my MBBS and I did my bachelor's and master's in Saraswati Arena during that point of time and it was only in my final year of medical school that I realized that I was going through severe physician burnout um, I, it was an OBGYN rotation labor theater duty and I uh, was really uh, going through something which is indescribable uh, and I saw my vena in the corner of my room and I started playing it and I found it really cathartic and that was when I thought of reading up about music therapy and what are the researches going on in it. And uh, from the very beginning of the medical school, I was also uh, really passionate about learning oncology and I spent a lot of time in researches and also in uh, clinical rotations in oncology uh, both in India and in the United States and as part of that I went to Harvard and Stanford and Cornell for a couple of uh, clerkships as an international visiting medical student and in one of those rotations my mentor at Harvard Medical School he uh, mentored to find an intersection at music and oncology uh, as I'm passionate in both uh, classical music and in cancer care. And that was when I thought of uh, founding the self-initiative lecture concert series called Oncology and Strings. Now, Oncology and Strings cates about the importance of advocating music into India's healthcare infrastructure, or more specifically in India's palliative oncology. There, there are two types of music therapy, one is clinical and another one is therapeutic. So clinical music therapy is when a music therapist, a board certified music therapist plays music for uh, the, a patient for a specific amount of time through a period of like a month or two months. And uh, therapeutic music therapy is when music is being passively played in the reception or chemo infusion rooms or in the ORs. And that therapeutic music therapy is not only for the patients but also for the healthcare workers for working in the hospital. Now, why did I start this lecture concert series? Last year, the United States celebrated 60 years of incorporating music into their academic curriculum. Music therapy is an established profession in many of those countries, but although India houses a large repertoire of music, be it like indigenous, like classical music or folk or uh, Bollywood or playback tracks uh, or independent hip hop, all of that, we have massively underutilized the potential of our music. Our uh, National Medical Commission, which is uh, which was previously Medical Council of India, uh, we haven't have yet have a panel of uh, you know physicians and musicians and physician musicians uh, to to set a guidelines for uh, an academic music. Uh, therapy curriculum yet but sooner or later India will definitely have uh, a board certified music therapy academic curriculum and because of that like we'll have music therapists in India uh, I'm hopeful that sooner or later India will have an NMC certified uh, music therapy academic program and also music therapists and, yeah.